for today's recipe rewind, we are kind of going green and learning about what could be the best salad ever invented. It is the Caesar salad. Yep. Take a look at the history of it here. There is nothing better than a perfectly made Caesar salad. Making tableside Caesar salads has been a tradition in the Seacrest household since I was a child. But alas, this sensational salad was not invented in our home. It was not even invented in this country. So where was it invented? And who is responsible for this Caesar salad that is loved and savored by people around the world? No, not this guy. Many believe that Caesar salad was named for the Roman Emperor Julius Caesar, but that is not the case. Although I'm sure he would have loved it. And while many assume that Caesar salad was invented in Italy, it was not, although its inventor was born there. His name was Caesar Cardini, and he was born in Northern Italy in 1896. He came to the United States in the 1910s and ended up in California, where he got into the restaurant business. Then everything changed in 1920. The Roaring Twenties, where the Charleston was the dance of the day and prohibition was the law of the land. That meant that there was a nationwide ban on the sale of alcoholic beverages, and that really hurt the restaurant business. Cesar Cardini needed to find a place where prohibition didn't exist. So he headed south of the border and opened a new restaurant in Tijuana, Mexico. That is right. The Caesar salad was invented in Mexico. The story goes that on July 4th, 1924, Caesar's restaurant was so busy that he was running out of ingredients. Out of desperation, he took what was left in the kitchen and threw it all together. Romaine lettuce, garlic, croutons, Parmesan cheese, boiled eggs, olive oil, and Worcestershire sauce. Supposedly, Caesar's brother, Alex Cardini, added anchovies to the recipe in 1926. And the rest is history. And now, nearly 100 years after the Caesar salad was invented, they're still making it the same way. We say thank you to both of the Cardini brothers. We love your Caesar salad. And we do. And coming up next, we are making Caesar salad with a twist right after this. All right, it is time for a recipe rewind with a fresh take on the Caesar salad. So here to show us how is chef and author of Eating Out Loud, Eden Grinchpen. Eden, good to see you. Hi, so good to see you. Thanks for having me. So very excited about this, but you're doing it differently than we do it at the Seacrest house because we do it with raw egg and we do the chopped lettuce, mm -hmm. but you've got a twist here. Yeah, this is my version of it. And what I love so much is we have a little secret ingredient, which is the tahini. Not so much a secret because it's in wow. the title, but <laughs> I use it instead of the egg yolk, which gives it that body and really coats the lettuce beautifully. So okay. um, how am we going to start? Also, another twist. Instead of croutons, I'm making candied walnuts. Oh, nice. That's a nice twist. And the sweetness, too. Yes, yeah, a little okay. bit of sweetness. Which might break up the saltiness because I, sometimes mine's a little salty, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, well, this is the perfect thing to put into the salad. So it's okay. super simple. We're just going to roast uh, walnuts. You can also sub with pecans if you want. Okay. Um, I have honey here. You can also sub with maple syrup. You can this put brown This is a healthy sugar. version because you yes. can be doing this with, like, brown sugar. That's great. Okay. Yes. Oh, so we're going to put some honey. We like to put some salt on there as well to really bring out the sweetness. Mm -hmm. And this is simply it. You throw it in a 350, three wow. to five minutes. I want these um, even without the lettuce. Just a exactly. Exactly. This is perfect. If you just yeah. want to so make candied walnuts at right. home, right. this is it. Great. Okay. Um, so 350, three to five minutes. And then they're going to get nice and golden. And now we're going to start with the dressing, which I'm sure for everyone, you know, Caesar is about... The dressing. the dressing and the experience the of yeah. making the dressing. Yeah, right? or if you're me, it just comes out of a bottle. But yes, <laughs> I'm excited for this. Well, well, I, I said this, yeah, have you ever made Caesar? She goes, yeah, I like poured the dressing on lettuce. Nice what are you talking about? And you know what? No judges. It's great. No judges. time and a no place. Judges. But no we're going to be making it with, you know, the real stuff. We've got some anchovies here. Shay, how uh, do you feel about anchovies? Do you like canned fish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like tuna. You don't really Brian, love it? I hear you love it. I could eat this. Do it. Now. Let's see. I, I, I know. Yes. Yes, there you go. No, no issue with that. Yeah, well, not that be is, joining although, you. Although, Marie, these have been out for a while, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I've, I heard that you love a Caesar, and I heard that you love an anchovy. Oh, and a sardine. So, um, right. so all we're going to do here is we're going to just, like, finely chop it. And it's important to make sure you finely chop so it really just melts into wow, the dressing. Wow, you look very professional, dude. 
I know. My I'm first impressed. time chopping. <laughs> I'm impressed. And so you really just want to break it down. And for everyone that doesn't love an anchovy, you can definitely not include it. Right. But I also, you know, for people that don't that come to my house, I just sub with capers. So it gives you, you a nice... Saltiness. Like a same right. saltiness, right? Okay. right? So you really want to break it down. Okay. okay. So we, we also have some finely ground, some like uh, really blitzed up anchovies here. And now we're going to just start literally adding everything into the bowl. So get your anchovies. These yep. are those? And yep. put it yep. right into the bowl, okay? <clears throat> and we're just starting to build flair, flavors, okay? okay? Now we have garlic, Love obviously. Garlic. Can never too much of garlic. Yep. Go like, for it. Caesar Thanks. salad should be like, you know, you want a little bit of that fire. Oh, yeah. Right? Not a first date thing, but, you know. <laughs> well, if you eat it if on a first date, the same, or if you both it's have okay. it, that's true. It cancels. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. it cancels, right? Now we have some Dijon. So you're going to okay. see a lot of the classic ingredients uh, here that go into a Caesar. And we have a little bit of red wine vinegar mm -hmm. that really will give that beautiful pop mm -hmm. and that acidity. And I also like to add lemon juice as well with my red wine vinegar. Okay. Yes. Because so I feel like it adds a different now, flavor. We use Worcestershire. Is that okay? Yeah, that's also, okay. that's classic. I just, okay. I didn't add you it into it the, okay. Sorry for um, yeah, I'm squeezing it with my hands. Here, a trick. Yeah, what is it? Keep your hand underneath your lemon, yeah. like so, yeah. and squeeze over your hand and you collect the seeds. All right? these Greener. years there you go. of right? swallowing lemon seeds. Right? And now you tell me. Which All is, right. you know, it's good for you, right? Extra protein. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do, let's just start whisking it a little bit, break it down, right? And now we're going to add in that tahini. So tahini is basically just ground sesame seeds. Right, okay. You're adding that as you mix. Yes. So you just want to add that right in, okay? And it's going to give you a mm, really beautiful, you. nutty, and yeah. earthy uh -huh, flavor. Uh -huh. And actually, Shay, I know yep. you're expecting. So this is a great sub for anyone that doesn't want to risk putting the egg yolk in. Um, if you want to make a Caesar at home. Right. And it just really gives it that something special. Now I'm going to drizzle in the olive oil slowly. Okay. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil. Extra Must virgin be. olive oil, absolutely. Mm hmm. There Yum. you go. I and the, oil. you know, one thing that's a little bit unique too about this recipe is because I put the tahini in with the olive oil, you have to put a little bit of water to kind of emulsify okay. it and give it a lightness. So we're going to put a little bit of water. Where's our water? It's right there, right next to Shea, beside the parm. There. Oh, it's right it's there. So, it's it here. looks empty. You got, it. you got it. It's right there. I'm like, wait. It's all right. right there. Oh, there's an okay. empty bowl over there. Where's the water? <laughs> <laughs> now we want to just scatter in a little bit of this grated Parmesan. Okay. Uh, okay. And oh, then yeah, so you, you put the Parmesan in the dressing. Wait. I put it everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. I don't hold right. back. All right. You can't have yeah, I don't hold back. back. Okay. Mm, yum. Now you yum. want to season with some salt. Oh, yeah. Some cracked black pepper. I find pepper is really important yeah. in the Caesar. It gives you that like pop, that spiciness. Very right, good. Okay, and now we're just gonna put this to the side and we're gonna start layering. And this is what's really, really fun about this dish because I don't chop my lettuce. Oh, so, leaves. Okay, this is where we also do it differently. I, I keep love it this. whole. And it's because this salad is meant to eat with your hands. Okay, okay? I love, it. love that. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to just dig in. Pick it up. And I have baby gems. If you can't find baby gems, you can use romaine absolutely. Absolutely. And then what you want to do is just start layering it down. This is fun. Like, to get the kids involved in this is also really great. Um, uh, and then we are going to start layering flavors because the These whole point is, <laughs> that's on. the baby Come gem. on. Come on, Shay. Give us the big baby gems. <laughs> okay. Big so baby gems. Okay. Big baby gems. So what you want to do now is just take your dressing, okay, okay, okay. and layer it over oh, the lettuce on. leaves, there like so. Okay. Are we drizzling on Dri there? We're okay. drizzling. You drizzle. Just okay. drizzle on top. Then you want to take your radishes. Okay, Here, Gelman, I hear you. <laughs> spoon, Ryan, spoon, Ryan. Spoon it over. I don't spoon, Gelman. <laughs> okay, Gorgeous. Sorry. And then you want to take your radishes. You want to scatter that over. Okay. Nice pop of freshness, a little bit of heat. Yep. Oh, I then you have this. your beautiful candied walnuts that are right there in front of oh, you, Ryan. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You want to scatter that on top as well. Mm. This is mm. what Take you're making this year. a little bit of that year. Parmesan. Oh, for sure. Scatter that on top as well. Uh, more. And yeah, the reason I used to do this. Is, well, we, we <laughs> dumped ours dressing. in the dressing. Here, we'll here. get it. Okay, okay you guys you. can take some of thank mine. You, I have, you. you know, my micro plant in here with my parm. Okay, and now we get to And then you want to just continue doing this with the lettuce leaves. And what you're doing keep is you are literally creating layers throughout so every piece has dressing. Wow. I'm going to try this. Right? It's really good. Oh, yay! It's really good. Thank you, Eden. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm.
Connie and Gary, we're changing it up maybe this year. For the rest of you, go to KellyandRyan.com. Eating Out Loud, available where books are sold, and we'll be right back.